guys and welcome back to another train simulator video today we're going to be driving the class 350 london midland train on a service from Wolverhampton to crew basically we'll be doing the journey between rugby and stafford so let's set up the train the destination is set to crew anyway so we don't need to do that let's go in a cab um, where's the lights? There we go. Okay, lights are on. I think we're good to go actually. Let's sound the horn. Puts me to forward. Neutral. So, yeah. Basically, we'll be doing a stopping service from Rugby to Stafford, which is 51 miles away. There's a lovely Class 390 passing by. Now, the Class 390 in the Virgin livery is my favorite train ever in real life and in the game. I think that's another Class 350, is it? Yes, it is. Let's take a screenshot because... Like who doesn't like screen who doesn't like screenshots, right? One there. And another one here. I should have taken a screenshot when that class 390 passed us, but oh well. So yeah. This train is quite special because it has announcements, so each when we reach every station and you guys can hear it. I believe you can change the screen as you can see. Just show some information about the train. Nothing special. And let's go. Departing rugby station. The next station is Nuneaton. So yeah, this is the class 350 London Midland train. It's a pretty, pretty nice train. I have seen this in real life many times. I haven't actually been on this train ever in real life. But I would like to go in one of these trains. Pretty nice train. Another class 390. Let's speed up. I believe that's a class 66 yeah this this um, route is quite laggy so I hope you guys don't mind I can't really do anything about it actually this route is very detailed and this scenario has a lot of AI in it so it will lag unfortunately going on the bridge hopefully the FPS will improve as we leave I think that was the pantograph that sound yeah it was let me show you guys the passenger view so basically to go to passenger view you need to Basically, you can open these doors, as you can see, and you can close them. So this is the first passenger view. I think this is the one that you get in all the trains. This is another passenger view, which you don't get in other trains, which is pretty nice. If you ever stand on a train in real life, then this is probably the view that you're seeing. And this is the other view. And the last one is... There is no last one. Those are the three passenger views in the game. On the stream, I mean. We're speeding a little bit. Let's try not to speed. And yeah. You can close these doors as well. One sec. You open and close the doors from here. It's a pretty detailed cab, actually. 
Maximum speed, 110 miles an hour. Speed limit is going down to 75. Now this train does have faults as well and it basically the screen on the right hand side will tell, tell me if there's a fault of the train and tell me how to fix it. I don't think it's scripted in this scenario but we'll, I haven't played this scenario before so it might be scripted. Let's slow down. Annoying EWS. Speed limit is actually going up to 125 miles an hour. I don't think this train is capable of 125 miles an hour, but I'll give it. I'll give it a go. Okay, we need to slow down. Yeah, the brakes on this train are not very good, as you can see. There we go. Well, let's take a screenshot now. This will be the thumbnail for the video. Hopefully, there we go. Very nice. Pantograph is sparking. Really, that's really cool. As you can see, the scenery is very, very good. A lot of detail has been put on this route, and I would highly recommend anyone who doesn't own this route to buy it because. It's definitely worth it. But let's speed up now. See how fast this train can go. under 8 miles away from Nuneaton it will probably be a speed change soon so I'm pretty sure we won't be able to go from 125 miles an hour to like probably 30 or 40 miles an hour heading into the station we actually the ETA is saying that we're gonna be a little bit little bit late. Hopefully we can make that time back. We're just about to reach 110 miles an hour. Let's see if the train can go even faster. I'm guessing it can go faster than 110 miles an hour since this is a game and not in real life. As you can see, 111 miles an hour, 112. Let's watch the train fly past. I think we should slow down a bit now. We are on time though, so no need to go any faster I think. I believe there's a speed change soon. There is a yellow signal actually. Oh, that's not good. 
A double yellow flashing signal. I don't think that's a good a good sign, is it? Oh wow, 75 miles an hour. Yeah, the brakes on this train are not the best. That's why I'm slowing down quite a long way before the speed change. But we should be fine. We should hear the um, announcement soon, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I will keep quiet while that happens, so you guys can hear it. And it is the, probably the best thing about this game. I mean this um, train. Another class 390. Is that a red signal? No, it's a green signal. Thank God for that. We should hear the announcement soon. Hopefully. Unless they disabled it for this scenario when they made it. This train is for crew calling at Longington. Atherton, Bowlesworth, Tamba, Litchfield, Trent Valley, Rugeley, Trent Valley, Stafford, Stone, Stoke on Trent, Kids Grove, Alsatia, and Crew. The next stop is Nonington. Please remember to take all of your luggage and personal belongings with you when leaving the train. And there we go, guys. That's the announcement for. This train, it will happen at every station, every st just before we reach every station, it will sound that. I believe it only happens at the station that we're meant to stop at, and not at every st station, I think, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't think it's exactly like it sounds like in real life, but it's better than nothing, right? We need to slow down. Anyway, this platform is really, really long, so... And this is only a four-car train anyway, so... We shouldn't have any problem... S stopping at the station. So yeah, non-eaten station. Change here for, I guess... Other services that run from here or pass here. Let's take a screenshot, why not? There we go. Another one. So yeah, this is Nuneaton station, quite a busy station. Multiple platforms. I believe these two platforms are for the stopping services. The middle two are for services that fly past this station without stopping here and I believe on the, as you can see there's a cross-country class 170 I believe that's going to um, Birmingham New Street yes it is I believe it goes from Stansted Airport to Birmingham New Street I'm guessing and basically this track goes above above us I think or go, goes right which is really cool Yep, class 170 going to Birmingham New Street. This platform is actually on a hill, actually, I think. So, yeah. I'm guessing this train will depart at the same time as we do. Hopefully. That would be quite cool. We have some flowers here. Like, th little things like this makes... 
just makes a station a lot more realistic in a way. We have the 9 car slash 11 car 390 stop and stop marker and class 221 and class 220. 8 to 10 stop car stop marker. Yep, we're departing at the same time. Let's go. Obviously, the class 350 will be able to accelerate a lot faster than the class 170. There we go. Let's watch both trains pass by. That one's going right, and we're going straight on. What's that? That says Molly Sons. I think that's meant to say Morrison's, but obviously, for licensing issues, they haven't wrote Morrison's, and they wrote it as Molly Sons, which is quite funny. I believe that train goes above us, is it? Yes, it was. Let's actually take a look at that. There we go. Really nice. Hopefully they will make the West Coast main, main line that goes from London Newston to Birmingham New Street. Hopefully one day. Because that is my home route and that is the only route I want them to make. Like I don't really care about any other route that they, ma they make now. That's the only route I want in the game. The West Coast main line that goes from Houston to Birmingham, Birmingham New Street. Because we do have... All the trains that run on that route we, is already in the game. Obviously we have the class 350, the class 390, the class 220. We've we got the class 221 from Just Trains and the class 22 from Just Trains. Um, yeah, we've got the class 378 London Overground that we can drive from Houston to Watford Junction. And we've got the Southern class 377 which we can drive from Wilson Junction to... Milton Keynes Central, so like there's no reason why they can't make that route. I think the reason why they're not making it is because of licensing issues, but like they really need to like fix it. And I really hope they make it. Like if they're not gonna make it for Train Simulator 2017, then I hope hopefully they can make it for Train Sim World. Like that would e be even better. West Coast Mainline trip, West Coast Mainline, Houston to Birmingham New Street on the brand new train sim wall game. That would be amazing because obviously it'll run better. The detail would be a lot more, a lot more things you'll be able to do. Hopefully they can add announcements like they've done to this route. The next station is, I can't even say that, Aterstone, I think that's how you say it, or something like that. I'm not even going to bother with that. So our ETA is 7, 17, 30. We are a little bit early, so that's okay. The announcement will sound in a minute, so I will keep quiet for that. And the speed limit is going down. So let's slow down maybe. It should sound any moment. I think within a mile it will sound or within 0.5 of a mile. Trent Valley, Stafford, Stone, Stoke-on-Trent, 
Kids Grove, Alsager, and Crewe. The next stop is Anston. Please remember to take all of your luggage and personal belongings with you when leaving the train. Wasn't that the best thing you ever heard on Train Simulator? I think so. This platform is quite small, so I think we might overrun it. Another Plaza 390, probably going to London Euston. I really, really need to slow down. Um, I think we're gonna run over, over the platform actually. Come, on. yes, we are. Are we? Yeah, the brakes are not as good as I thought they were. Yeah, we're gonna overrun, overshoot the platform, unfortunately. Oh shit. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, this is a very bad example of me being a train driver. Oh my god, we completely fucked it up. Does it count as us opening the doors? Okay, we need to go back. Sorry about this, guys. I'm not as good as a train driver as you guys probably think I am. Yeah, we are late. Oh, it says an X anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. I think we complete. Yeah, it's giving us an X, unfortunately. Let's just go forward. Let's just forget about this stop then. Anyway, the next station is Polesworth, platform one. I should have realized that it would sit, give us X. Anyways, who cares? I'm not bothered. Next station in four miles. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far. And if you guys have any scenario suggestions, suggestions, then let me know in the comments below and I'll check them out. And if you guys want to make me a scenario, then that's okay too. As long as it as it's interesting and has a lot of AI, then I'll play it. And of course, I do need to own that route and train. So yeah. I do own pretty much all the routes that come out of London. So, for example, London to Brighton, London to Peterborough, um, Chatham Main Line, um... South London network, etc. Oh, look at that. A class 390 is catching up. Let's take a screenshot. Let's take the best screenshot. Oh, wow. Two pendolinos. Hopefully there's no AWS. There we go. I would race this train, but there's no way we're gonna beat the class 390 in a race. That, that Pandalino is not going very fast at all, that, to be honest with you. We are. I'm guessing it's stopping... I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't stop at Polesworth. Maybe it's changing tracks or something like that. I haven't yet seen a class 220. Hopefully we can see some of them as we get towards Stafford Station. Which is still around 28 miles away. This train is for crew. Point, Paul's Tamworth. 
Litchfield Trent Valley, Rugeley Trent Valley, Stafford, Stone, Stoke on Trent, Pitts Road, Alsatia, and Crewe. The next stop is Polswell. Please remember to take all of your luggage and personal belongings with you when leaving the train. Okay, let's try not to overshoot the platform this time. I am going to be cautious now. Yeah, these platforms are quite small, even if a, with a four car train. It is quite difficult to fit it in. Well, for me that is. Yeah, let's slow down. Yeah, I'm slowing down a bit too much actually, I think. Better safe than sorry, right? And we are on time anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I think that's a perfect stop. At least the train's on the platform, that's the main thing. Let's open the doors. This guy looks happy to be on my train. I definitely wouldn't be happy if I was if someone like me was driving a train because as you saw from the last stop we didn't even stop at that station so yeah we're at Polesworth warning do not trespass on the railway penalty 200 pound only 200 pound I think it's worth it actually it's definitely worth it's definitely worth it um, in terms of I would definitely trespass on the railway but they should really increase that 200 pound penalty to like thousand pound or something like that like you always hear things like people trespassing on the rail tracks and all that people trying to kill themselves and all that like I think they need to like you know make it more clear to the public is there another train coming Nope. The good thing is FPS is quite good now. At 20 FPS, so yeah. Thank God for that. I like this route, but at the same time, I don't like this route because it's a bit too much detailed and it does take a toll on FPS. As you can probably already tell by watching this video, parts of this route are quite laggy. Slow down, gonna speed. Now this um, scenario ha was made by DP Simulated, so I believe you can download this scenario on Steam Workshop and on their website. So yeah, the scenario's names 0635 Novahampton to crew and he uses a class 350 if any of you are interested in playing this scenario in your own time next station is Tamworth we are quite early I think What's that? A class 390? No, it's a class 220 actually. Very nice. Look at that. Very nice. I think that's an 8 car train. Trent Valley, Stafford, Stone, Stoke on Trent, Kids Grove, Alsatia, and Crewe. The next stop is Tamworth. Please remember to take all of your luggage and personal belongings with you when leaving the train.
Yes, take your luggage with you because if I find any left on my train, I'll probably sell it on, e sell it on eBay. True fact. Let's start slowing down now. This platform does seem a lot, lot longer than the other ones. That's good. As you can see, the brakes are absolutely terrible. Hopefully we can slow down before the platform finishes. Just about. We're actually stopping at a 9 car, 390 marker. Obviously we're not driving a class 390 and we're driving a 4 car train. Open the doors. So yeah, this is Tambov Station. There's a car park apparently next to it. There's actually another ser train service that goes above this station, as you can see. Now this is basically Tamworth, um, I believe the Birmingham to Stansted Airport service goes up here, I think, I'm not too sure. But yeah, there's train tracks going up here and obviously the, the West Coast Main Line goes down, down below. The two middle tracks and the two outer tracks. Here's a staircase to go down. There we go. There we go. Another cool thing about this route that this is this is um you can actually see this properly. Like most of the older routes, like this is all blurred out, but. As you can see, first London Houston on time calling at. It will show you show the station that it's calling at, which is nice. Rugby, Northampton, Milton Keynes Central, Watford Junction, and I'm guessing you, London Houston, or maybe in even Harrow and Wilson. Okay, I guess that's terminating at Watford Junction then. We're about to depart. And we're off. Speed limit is going up to 125 miles an hour, that's good. So yeah, Litchfield Platform 1 is the next stop, then it's Rugby Platform 2, then it's Stafford, which is only 23 miles away, so yeah, we're all halfway towards Stafford. Unfortunately, you can't open the windows on this train, which kind of sucks. It's a bit disappointing, actually. But yeah, it's a pretty nice cab. It actually shows on this speedometer that the maximum speed for this train is 110 miles an hour, indicated with the yellow thing. But obviously we are driving this train in the game, so we can go more than 110 miles an hour. I did try driving the class 390 on this route above 125 miles an hour, and it managed to go up to like 150 miles an hour actually. And it was pretty insane, driving class 390 down this route at 150 miles an hour. Now the class 390s are capable of 140 miles an hour but they're limited to 125 miles an hour on the west coast mainline route unfortunately for some stupid reason the 
horn isn't the best sounding horn in my opinion. Could have been better. I think it's similar to what it sounds in real life. I'm not too sure. Every time I see a class 350 in real life, like the driver doesn't want to sound his horn. It kind of sucks. So yeah, three miles left to Litchfield platform one. Unfortunately, it will say at the end of the scenario that we failed it because we didn't stop at uh, this station. What is it? Atherstone. Yeah, we need to slow down actually. This train takes quite a while to slow down. At least FBS is good now. I'm guessing it'll get worse when once we get towards Stafford Station. Yeah, we need to slow down quite a bit now. Yeah, the scenery is pretty good. A lot of trees. A lot of greenery. And a class 390. Going to probably London Euston again. And the game is lagging again. This got train is for crew calling at Litchfield, Trent Valley, Bruge near Trent Valley, Stafford, Stone, Stoke on Trent, Kids Grove, Alsager, and crew. The next stop is Litchfield, Trent Valley. Please remember to take all of your luggage and personal belongings with you when leaving the train. Some cows there. I think I'm going to be perfect on time. Arriving at seven thirty-four. Luckily for us, Litchfield is a, a long platform as well. That's the four car marker. Yeah, we, we all, I was aiming for that. Don't worry, guys. I wasn't trying to like go right to the end of the platform. Literal Trend Valley, keep back from the platform edge. Pass passing trains cause air turbulence. I can imagine seeing a class 390 pass the station at full speed. Should we take a screenshot? So as you can see above, there are train tracks above, just like the previous station. So this station is called, what's the station called? Literal Trend Valley. It's the same station name, but a different service goes above there. Next station is Ruggley, platform 2. Seven miles to there, and then 17 miles to Stafford, which is our final stop. And obviously the train will continue on to our um, crew. Unfortunately, that's not in the game. Let's go to the passenger view. Because I haven't actually showed you that much gameplay of passenger view. Yeah, let's stay in. Let's stay here for a bit. 
Yeah, the passenger is pretty nice. We have a table, we got some chairs. Pretty basic. For a passenger train. Got some lights. Actually, this thing I forgot to show you. Basically, up here it shows you um, this train is a service from, I believe. Yeah, this train is for crew. You might say also it's calling at this station, this station, this station, I think. This train is for crew. Okay, I think that's all it says. But still, it's animated, so that's nice. This guy doesn't look happy, does he? So this is the other passenger view. I think this passenger view is probably the best because we can see like we can, we can look this way and we can look at this way, and we can op and we can um, open these doors as well, which is really nice. And this view we can actually see a bit of the driver's cab, which is kind of nice. Close the doors. Four miles left to Ruggily. I think we should slow down though. What's that? I think that's hay, I believe. There's some houses here. Must be really annoying living here actually. Because you're gonna be hearing class 350s, class 390s, class 220s flying past on the train tracks at full speed and it'll be quite loud actually. Especially at night time when you're sleeping. What's that? Power plants? What's a well, weird building shape? We've got a road there. Actually, river, sorry. It actually looks like a road, actually. There's a power plant, I think. Yeah. A nice scenery here. Speed limit going down to 110 miles an hour, but that's okay. We need to slow down anyway. We are really early. Okay, it's a bit difficult to hear hear the announcement when you're exterior view, but which kind of sucks. I guess it makes sense because if you're driving this driving this train in real life, only the passengers and you will hear it. You, okay, we're slowing down too much. But yeah, you don't expect to hear the announcements for a train when you're outside anyway. Maybe, maybe if the doors were open and you were, and the train was stopping at the um, train stop. It's 
platform is not along this, so just slow down. I think we might overrun it actually. Maybe I think I think we're okay. Just about barely is it is it? Yeah these train brakes are absolutely awful. I really hope these brakes in real life are not as bad. We have a footbridge to go from one platform to another. In a beautiful blue and green colour. It's really nice. What does it say on here? First crew on time calling at Stroke on Trend, King Kids Grove and Alzaga. Unfortunately we we won't be stopping at any of those stations because it's not in the game. A bit of a wait at hit at the station for some reason. Let's check on the map where we are. So we're here. And the next station is all the way here. Stop at Stafford Platform 6. There's a service that's going from Glasgow Central to London Euston here. And yeah, that, that's where the track ends. Obviously this track does continue on in real life, but in this on this route, that's, Stafford is the last station. What's this? Yeah, that Stafford is the last station. Oh, we need to go. So yeah, Stafford, nine miles away. Last stop on this journey for us. Then another driver will take over. Another class 390. I just love the look at the class 390 in the Virgin livery. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos on this on this um, route and with this train especially because unfortunately the announcements only work with this train on this route. It doesn't work with other trains that run on this route and other trains that um, run on other routes. Well basically if you drive this train on another route it won't work. It only works with this route only unfortunately. Because it's scripted for this route only, I'm guessing. I wish this route was a bit longer. Oh, we got a double yellow signal actually. That's interesting. Why is there a double yellow signal? I think we're changing tracks or something like that, maybe. What's the ETA for Stafford? There is no ETA for Stafford, so... We might be following another train, maybe. But now it's a yellow signal. Okay, we can speed up a little bit. Speed up train. Hopefully there's no... Oh uh, no. Okay, there's a red signal in front of us. Yeah, maybe I should have paid more attention. Really? Is the game doing that to me? Wow. Derailment due to junction switched against. Well then, I'm gonna end the scenario there then. We did most of the scenario anyway. Unfortunately, we didn't reach Stafford Station. Apologies for that. So yeah, six out of eight targets completed. Passed that, da passed that danger once. 
penalty break applied twice. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.